I feel like such a badass with a hand tattoo. Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, I'm super excited to have you. Today I'm going to get a tattoo. And not just any tattoo, a hand tattoo. A lot of people don't like what I'm getting, but I like it and that's all that matters. So I decided to get it and y'all are going to come along with me. The lady that's doing it is super cool. She has her own podcast. She does like social media too. So she understands what I'm doing here. I did ask permission to vlog. I didn't want to put her in it and then like her not want to be in it. So I have my tripod. Ryan was supposed to come with me, but I didn't wake him and Zoe up in time. So I'm just going to go by myself. I am about to go get McDonald's because I didn't eat very well and I want to eat before I get needles poked all in my skin with ink so I don't pass out um but yeah I've drank quite a bit of water I'm gonna go ahead and go I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about or what I'm nervous for basically I've gotten a tattoo before this is the tattoo that I have so this isn't my first tattoo um but I hear that your fingers and hands are like the worst place to get them and I already have super super bony fingers and hands. I asked if she had numbing cream just in case. 27. We're here ladies. Oh my god I'm scared. I'm like actually really scared. I'm not gonna bring in my tripod yet because I don't want her to think I'm weird. So I'm just gonna take my camera in and hold it for now. Now I have my AirPods and yeah, I'm ready to go basically. And then for this, I just need first and last name, initial next file, these after you got them, and then just fill that little part out. Okay. I'm scared. So far, the drawings, I'm kind of letting her do, use her best judgment, whatever she thinks is going to look good. I love how they're so supportive and they don't even know me. It's crazy. Like they just all went and followed my TikTok and my, and subscribed to my channel. That's so cute. I picked like the best tattoo shop that I could have picked. I'm at Baby Bee's tattoo studio right now. Cute though. Right? You're trying to have fun. Yeah. We're like a little family. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Yay! Okay, everyone. Are y'all ready for the final tattoo reveal? Drum roll! I love her. I absolutely fucking love her. Why doesn't it want to focus? Hello? There we go. So cute! I feel like such a badass with a hand tattoo. Yeah, don't fuck with me. I have a hand tattoo. I'm sorry I'm cuter than y'all, look better than y'all, talk better than y'all, act better than y'all. I would be mad too if I was y'all. So 
So that's the end of the vlog part. I'm gonna insert pictures and TikToks. But here it is. It looks so good. Tina did so good. I'm literally gonna use Tina for every tattoo that I get now, every touch up, every everything. She was so cool and like gentle. She was just cool. She was a cool tattoo artist and I really liked the vibe of their shop. I also wanted to shout them out. Um, they have a podcast together, the whole tattoo shop, the Shop Chat Podcast. Y'all should go check them out. They have a Facebook account and they also have a YouTube account. It made me feel good. Everyone in the shop, literally, as soon as they saw me with my camera and my tripod, they were like, what's your account? So I gave Tina my account first to my TikTok and my YouTube. And then I also gave, I think, I don't know the other tattoo artist's name that went and subscribed to me, but shout out to you. Y'all are awesome and so supportive. Um, it made me feel really good. So let's talk about pain. This is a finger tattoo slash hand tattoo. I was so terrified. Y'all can see in the vlog part, like I was so scared. Um, because everyone always says, oh, finger tattoos hurt the worst, like your hand is so bony and all the, all the veins and cartilage. It felt good. This tattoo felt good after the first couple of lines. This one, the one on my pinky, the two little stars, that one hurt for sure. And then like it hurt right here when it, once it got closer to the edge of my hand. But all of these other ones, I think this big um sparkle hurt too just because it was bigger than like everything else but yeah um that's really all i think overall the pain i would probably rate it a four out of ten for like the whole session like there wasn't one point where i wanted to cry which I thought there would be. I thought it would get to that point to where I felt like I needed to cry, but I just wasn't looking at it because I know if I were to look at it, I would start thinking about the pain more. So I just didn't look at it the whole time and I just tried to look at all the decorations that Tina had on her wall and kind of make conversation, which y'all can see that in the vlog part. That was the pain tolerance part. That was my experience there. It's called Baby B Studios here in Abilene they did great they were so welcoming and they they really made me feel like i had known them for a long time even though i that's literally the first time i've been there for tattoos so baby b studios so go check them out they're right next to key city snacks i made a tiktok on key city snacks if y'all have seen it comment below i'm definitely gonna get more i'm gonna get this one touched up and i'm gonna get the rose touched up by tina eventually hopefully within like the next month or so a little bit longer maybe but Thank you guys for watching. I'm so excited that I got to bring y'all along with me. They also invited me to be on their podcast. So I will let y'all know if that ever happens. Like if I do go um, join their podcast for an episode, that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to have another video up um, in about two or three days after this one is uploaded. So y'all watch out for that. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all in a couple of days.